Hi friends, after our Friday XDXDR SLX rear derailleur adjustments for 1x12 drivetrain, it's time for the one I really owe you, which is how to make a mudproof drivetrain. For those who don't know the channel and are not subscribed, do it, and it is not a clickbait, catchy type of the title. This is my race proven method of keeping my drivetrain clean and of running my chain for thousands of kilometers. I've uh, done this on Diori drivetrain, I've done many muddy events or on um, Diori where people were complaining about their eagle stuff. And if you're looking for some method you want to be doing on a daily uh, basis, which means you don't have much time for it, you can skip the part about cleaning the bike. Of course you want to have the bike clean, uh, but if you are time crunched and you want to keep your drivetrain clean, just uh, jump into like 1 minute 45 seconds where I start to actually clean the drivetrain and then I will show you basically two tricks, I would say. So after washing my bike, uh, I would wash the bike like every, I don't know, three weeks or so, but my drivetrain will be dried and looped after every wet uh, training. If it's, uh, if it's dry, if it's okay, uh, I would just sometimes add a little bit of loop and clean the chain. But if it's wet, I do it every time, after every time I get home and I see water or anything on my drivetrain, I will do it. So, first part, I'm removing this huge amount of grime from the drivetrain with a screwdriver first, and it's there only because this is a testing bike, and it came with a new chain, somebody has already ridden the bike, and the grime was there. After you make, you do my method, you use my method, th this kind of stuff won't be sticking to your drivetrain. Nope, it's, it's impossible. So first I just use screwdriver not to make my, all my clothes and, and or rags uh, dirty. Uh, and now I'm using a rag. Um, make sure you change the gears in order to put the derailleur in different positions so that you can have access to the pulleys to the uh, tensioning spring, to all the parts of the derailleur. So changing the gears is good method to uh, expose different parts of the derailleur uh, just to your, to your rack. So just clean everything well first. And our first trick will be not only to loop the chain, but to keep everything dry. All outer surface of the chain, the pulleys, the derailleur, everything has to be dry. The problem with new chains is that they put some really sticky grease on it, which is bad. And you have to, you really have to clean the chain before the first ride. That's my opinion. Uh, this one came already written to me, so I had no, no choice but to clean it um, thoroughly uh, once again. Uh, also, the spring on the rear derailleur comes with a grease on it, that green grease, and it will catch everything. It will catch dirt, it will catch uh, pr pretty much anything that flies uh, just out from, from your uh, wheels uh, to the derailleur, so you make sure it's, it's clean and dry. Now, I'm removing the, the chain guide. And uh, make sure you know that you can do it on your bike because on this bike uh, you actually have to remove the crankset in order to remount the chain guide. Uh, but um, having opportunity to clean everything, uh, I just use the rack and clean the chain ring, I clean the, the bottom bracket area uh, and take the, the excess of, of the grease from around the bottom bracket shells as well. So now this is the this is the actually the the, the thing you want to do every time after you come home and you see dirt on your drivetrain. Simply keeping the rack there, just just around the rear derailleur, uh, and spinning backwards. If the chain is very dirty, like mine, because of that new grease and and already some stuff on it, I'm just using some degreaser in order to clean it. I use it 
as rare as I can because I don't want to reuse the quick link for the chain, especially two 12 speed chains from Shimano and Stram Eagle. Um, they are actually, they, they should be used only once, uh, but since the chain was really dirty and I heard some, uh, some like um, soil and mud in it, I had to do it. So after cleaning it very, very well, uh, you can see how much grime and old grease left in uh, in the jar there. Um, after shaking it really well in the jar, I'm now cleaning the chain. I want to um, also um, have it uh, really dry now, so no degreaser anymore on it. It should be very clean, shiny, silver or gold if you have one, or petrol kind of blue. Uh, but you want to have it really clean and you, you don't want to hear any particles uh, within the, the links. You can hear now how clean the chain is. I'm still cleaning it from, uh, from the out outside. I'm just uh, using the rack, uh, like uh, pushing it towards the chain. Uh, you can hear it's super clean from different angles and the old towels are great for that because um, the old towels will have those little fringes uh, in it which come in between the links. Now I'm lubing the chain and the trick doesn't lie in the kind of uh, oil you use uh, because usually I've been using uh, finish line uh, green now I'm using different uh, brand. Uh, just don't put too much. And when you when you loop the chain, do it only on the edges. You don't want to put too much oil just at the center of the chain. Do it on the edges, right where uh, there is some friction between the links and the pins. After lubing it, I'm removing the excess of the of the oil. And now I'm using the greaser, the natural degreaser made from some citrus, some from lemon or something. In order to remove this old grime from the cassette, because you want to have your chain and the cassette from outside to be super slippy. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, now I'm changing the gears in order to clean those uh, smallest chain rings. And you do same for the, for the chain ring on your uh, crank set. Now I'm just uh, using uh, some rag to, to clean it really well. And now you can use oil, you can use Brunox, you can use WD-40. Put just a little bit on the brush. Uh, the brushes you saw before were cleaning brushes. This is like paint brush. And what I'm doing, I'm just putting the small amount of, uh, of this uh, Brunox or just some, some film of the uh, lubricant on the cassette. So the trick lies in number one, having everything dry and sleepy from outside and number two, putting a little bit of lubricant also on the cassette, but then cleaning it, so like removing it. So there will be nothing sticky. If you, to if you took like a sand and just uh, put it on the cassette um, and then hold the cassette up, the sand will just go down. Nothing slippy. And you can hear now the gears. So no sand there. It it works bad battery smooth right now. And this is really race proven method for the mud, but also you will extend the lifetime of your whole drivetrain. Thousands of kilometers are no problem for any chain I would run on SRAM and Shimano drivetrains. Thanks guys, have fun. Thank <laughs> you.